summery niçoise salad but instead of using tuna we're using mackerel that I have filleted myself. I'm just going to pop my beans here and they will literally take just sort of two or three minutes. So in here I've got my new potatoes that have already been done. So first of all um, chicory, beautiful colour, just really really nice here. So I'm just going to take off the very outer leaves. Now that's not usually you know necessarily in my niçoise but it just looks such a lovely colour. Hard-boiled eggs. I'm literally just going to do those in half. These are, of course, a great source of protein. Now, obviously, usually you'd use tuna, but mackerel, it's fantastic. It's a lovely oily fish, and I'm actually not going to put the anchovies in the salad because of that, because it's a, it's a slightly stronger taste, so you don't really need it. It's sort of You don't want to overcomplicate the salad. So I've got these lovely black olives here. They're stoned, because there's nothing worse than picking olives out halfway through your dish. And they're just marinated in olive oil and sun-dried tomato. On to the cherry tomatoes. You know, they are so delicious. They're very sweet, very good for this kind of dish. You could really use something like a plum tomato and slice them into quarters if you wanted. You know, really, again, just go with what, what is seasonal, what is looking great, and, you know, whatever you fancy. My beans are ready here. OK, so I'm going to leave the beans here because I don't really want to put them in with this yet. And time to concentrate on the mackerel. So all I'm doing here is just sort of gently wiping each side with the olive oil so it doesn't stick on the griddle. Oh, they smell amazing. OK, so the dressing. So very basic vinaigrette dressing. Olive oil in with the vinegar. And really two parts olive oil, one part vinegar. I'm going to put some lemon in there just to really help keep it nice and and light. So I'm just going to flip my fish over. These have literally had, oh, a minute at the most. You can cook the mackerel, you know, on a barbecue. It's fantastic at this time of year. Absolutely amazing. And the smells from there are just divine. I'm just going to take these off now and pop them on here because you don't want them overcooking. OK, this is where I am missing the workspace of the market kitchen, but never mind. It's very nice to be out in the fresh air and it's so inspiring to be out here and shopping by sight. So, I'm just going to put these in here. My seasonal Jersey Royals, great time of year for them. I'm just going to carefully toss those through. You want to sort of get everything together. So, now I'm just going to add our beans. And this is the kind of thing, I think, Saturday afternoon in the garden, absolutely fantastic. It takes minutes to prepare, you just have to have your fresh ingredients, and you know, it's, it's absolutely delicious. Now I'm going to do a little test here and put one skin side up, one skin side down, and see what everyone thinks. It's going to dress here. You don't want to overdress it, because you know, the fish is very oily. But there we have it, a really simple seasonal summer salad. We haven't used the tuna, we've used the mackerel, I think it's delicious. So there we have it. Now we're going to get some tasters in and get their verdict. There we go. So we've got a salad niçoise. Now, with tuna being endangered, we have used mackerel. Um, but other than that, fairly classic ingredients. This is delicious. But as I say, it's the kind of thing that I would only do. It's very easy to make. Oh, it is. It couldn't, couldn't be simpler. And the fish takes, you know, not even a minute each side. I mean, if you say it's easy and if you say that I can get good ingredients and be friendly to the environment, then I might give it a try. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Now that's it. Really simple, easy summer dish.